Daja how this is Ron Ellis and welcome back. I think I need water. Okay, but anyways, welcome back. So this segment I'm so excited. I'm so excited and you'll know why I'm so overly excited. <laughs> Cause this is my only chance possibly to actually hold this. So <laughs> This time, it's going to be about makeup, but it's not the whole look. I'll only focus on the eyeshadow. So this is as to those who don't know, I'm a cosplayer. I usually cosplay guys. That is cross-dressing. So I am biologically female, but I like to cosplay male. So there. So this time, I cannot start this because I'm so, so excited. I borrowed a palette from my friend and I wanted to try it out. So there, <laughs> it's mirrored. So that's jawbreaker. As you can see, there's the star for those who do not know who this symbol belongs to. It's Jeffree Star. He is one of the beauty guru that I've been following recently. I wouldn't say that I've followed him for a long time. I've known him from a friend and then I've followed uh, Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson. I wasn't even there during the James Charles drama. So I'm new. And yes, uh, actually I've been wanting to have the conspiracy palette. But you know, I'm in the Philippines. So... Good thing my friend has this one, so I'm I'm gonna try it out. So on this video, I'm going to say my... This is my personal opinion. I wouldn't uh, argue with other people who know things better than me because I'm not like uh, into... How do we say that? I'm not that good at makeup, okay? So this is just my personal opinion as a cross-dresser. So... Uh, uh, you'll know later on what's gonna happen. So, so uh, the mirror is so nice. It's so nice. It's heavier on this part than the others, which is, as you can see, it wouldn't open just as easy. And the colors, they are so pigmented. If you've noticed, this would be advisable for female cosplayers who are cosplaying females not for me as a cross-dresser because for male makeups usually what we use are the neutral colors so we have the cream the light ones brown but for the white ones so we have white we have like light light pink we have the glittery white and all bright colors uh jeffree star mostly what he does is drag or for those who want to have concept shoots okay and for glamour <clears throat> thank you i have a friend here so I actually give me signs <laughs> yes yeah, so we call yeah glam <laughs> glam or glamour makeup you could possibly use this because it's pigmented so let's start like stop the talking let's just start so first i'm gonna use this one it's the virgin <laughs> as your base because in i'm only going to like at th the edge i don't want to dub on the star area I and mean, all of them has this star embossed thing i don't want to dub that because this is mine i want to take care of it so there let's dub the white one. wow I dub it just a bit and there's a lot of things going there. Now, why did I use the white one? Because it's always been my base. White or light colors should be your base. Like, either be you're going for uh, the female or male, I would always suggest, on my opinion, I'm not saying that you should do this, but personal preference, I would want it white there. Okay. Wow. My light is so bright that you wouldn't see the white, but it's there. Yeah. And let's try... That. Okay, and... Let's see on the other ones. Okay, where's the... 
Okay, I'm going to use. I'm not going to use the the like super duper purple blue. I'm going. I'll, I'll try to avoid that one. So for male cosplays, especially for Chinese and some, you would be using like red on the outer part, orange. Other people use it also, and a little bit of this. So I'll I'll try to avoid those bright ones. So do not expect me dubbing all the glam look. So let me start with with this one. I don't know how to pronounce. How do you pronounce this one? Liquor. Licorice. 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 But okay, L I C O and then rice. How Licorice. Is it? Licorice. Licorice. Okay, that one. So let me try to dab that one. So start from the outer, going in. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to avoid to dab it as much. Go ahead, it's fine. <laughs> I don't want to dab it. No, the owner says it's fine, but... <laughs> I'm just scared. You know, I cannot afford this. I mean, plus I the shipping fee. I literally swatched that. Okay, can, you, can, can you, like, can, can you see that? <gasps> let, let me try to... Let me try to lessen my light there. Mm. Or, like, let, let's try to... Is this white? Wow, it's yellow. Okay, there. I think that's much better still. So, yes. Wow, I'm telling you, it's really pigmented. So, if you're a cross dresser, well, you can put very, very little of it. Like, very, very little of it. I mean, I'm not even dubbing it much, and look what happened. It's all red. And if you want to, yeah, you can blend it if you're like, oh yeah, you can blend it. But I'm telling you, it's too pigmented. Yeah. You uh, can still see it there, but personally, if you would like, come look at me, it's really very pigmented. Actually, so, this is my go-to palette already. Alright. For your to go. So for females, you can use this, but well, it, it's gonna last long. Because, of course, you don't want to be looking like a drag queen and a, and a cosplay. Unless it requires you so. But, wow, this is, this is, this, this is really it's pigmented. Nice. It's, nice. it's really, really nice. But for cosplay, for chorus dresser. Mm, I wouldn't really. I mean, if you're a female. And there, yeah, there are some characters who has this... Can you see that? Can you see that? It's there. It's there. It's it's literally there. Yeah. Where was I? Yeah. As I was as I was saying, there are some female characters and there are some male ones who. It depends on the theme of your anime, but if your usual, your usual bishonen, your usual Chinese, this is too bright. For female Chinese. Yeah, you can do this, and then you can just blend, but you have to put so little. So, yeah, that that's my take on this one, okay? Do not, like, gonna bash me and everything. You can have your comment below, those who have this Joe Breaker palette, because I'm telling you, they're gonna vote. If they're from the cosplay community. Now, I have to illiterate this over and over and over again. I am saying, I am talking in the perspective of cosplay. <laughs> I don't want to create some issues, okay? I'm trying now the... Suck. <laughs> Why did I choose... so <laughs> of the... Uh... <laughs> no, we have... Okay, let me just say the names even though some of you already know it. We have Virgin, Good Morning, Bubblegum, Wow. Just the one that I dubbed. It's like a bit like the orange... Orange one. Suck. Left the licorice. It's the one that I used on the outer area. We have... Cute. It's the greenish one. It's like blue green. It's like a, a light of it. And we have the F word. I'm not gonna say that on this video. <laughs> well, it's Jeffrey Star who named it, so I'm not surprised yeah. why the names are like that. So if you can just say that, it's like the F word. We have the gum, gum drop. We have snack. This snack is glittery. It's very uh, glittery. It's good as it's good for, for the eyebrow highlight. Oh. Well, my friend here who owns the palette <laughs> says it's good for the eyebrow highlight. It's for very glam. subtle. Kind of subtle, but still very glittery. 
Yeah. It, the, she, well, she said it's subtle, but as you can see, it's still glittery because because <laughs> it's Jeffrey Star. It's Jeffrey Star. What would you Period. expect? Yeah. Brain. Oh, wow. Brain freeze. So we have the light blue one, brain freeze, the jaw breaker. Uh, I, I brain tried... freeze can be a good highlighter. Well, wow. Like highlighter on the cheeks. That's what I it, use. A it's nice. Wow. Yeah. L- let me try that later on because my friends here says here it's nice for a chick, for chick highlighter. Wow, I didn't expect that because it it looks matte. It really looks matte. But I'm gonna try that one Which later one, brain on. Freeze? Yeah. The white one? No, no, no. Brain oh, freeze. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. No, no. That's good for eyeshadow. But the oh, white one, for the next one is good for highlighter. Yeah. Okay. As for Joe Brick, well, I used the Joe Breaker a while ago for <laughs> highlighter on my nose. And I'm telling you, it's superb. It's so nice. It's glittery. And it's it serves the purpose. Oh, okay. A lot of you might say but that's an eyeshadow no cosplay can be very versatile just like any uh, even for glam it's not because they would say that it's an eyeshadow it only can stays as an, as an eyeshadow it can work in any how no, would you except do not eat it <laughs> okay there's a difference there the brown shade there can be an eyebrow for eyebrow. oh yeah yeah that, that part yeah. yeah even for even for the regular palettes it's I, even for the brown eyeshadow sometimes we use it as a contour depends on how dark your brown eyeshadow is and what yeah i'm gonna try to use that later on okay i wouldn't tell you can just google what are the ones with the joe breaker so i'll try to dub the sock so uh, I just dubbed it very lightly, very very light. I'm telling you, because as I said a while ago, I'm trying to take care of this one. So wow, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, well, she said it's okay, but that doesn't sit well with me. You're my friend. That's why it's okay. Yeah. Okay, there. Let's try to have that one. Wow! Wow! yeah oh as you can see the difference there like it's here and then this was like the licorice and this one was the sock it's orange now the reason why i'm saying that it's so pigmented because you can still distinguish it with the light and i think those are like pa- like kind of pastel in color because yeah breaker like the candy? Candy, it's... But wow. It's, how do, should I describe that? It's like um, pastel that is still bright. Pa- bright pastel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> pastel that is supposed to be bright. <laughs> but that's well, how it's... we describe it. Oh. No. Wow. And I did tell you that I'm going to use the end. What? And I think that licorice is already too red. So let me try to do that in the outer I part. I think licorice is like dark red yeah it's dark red no i mean like yeah dark red and pink red for cherry wet and what is like it's glittery so let me try the glittery part on let me try that on the outer part yeah yeah go let's see that's also good for Wah. under eye the glittery the glittery red one it's good for it's, under it's... Eye. wow can so... you see that oh my gosh there, 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 there. No, I'm like, okay, let me do this this part. I just like, can you see that? Can you see that, guys? Yeah. Okay. The reason one of wonders why I bought that is very multicolored. Mm-hmm. Plus, red <gasps> eyeshadows are so difficult to find. Uh huh. No, what I'm doing is random swatches, so do not like tell me that's not you're supposed to do it. Because I'm trying. I'm having a hard time where to put it just for comparison. So I'm just... Wow. So can, can you say that if you're going to use that for a Chinese character? And for Chinese characters, they only have this small red dark on the side that doesn't extend. So you have to put very little for you to control how to blend it going outwards. Because this is not advisable. In any male character, this is not advisable. For female, yes. For female, yeah. Like, there are some females. Like, I've seen there. that in Musha, like the one I'm following oh right now. Goodness. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, I did not use any foundation because I'm only planning to have this one. I'll try to take a picture of only this part for you what happened or what plaything have I been doing with my, <laughs> with my 
eye area. Wow, 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 wow. Yes. Anyway, that's that's just wow. So let's try the. Let's let's let's. I'm gonna try the Joe Breaker, the white one. It's oh, that's the one. The it's the glittery white, yeah. the one that you can use it it's as a highlighter. a highlighter. So I'm trying to use this one. My goodness, I'm gonna use the mirror. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. You know what I like about that palette? The mm -hmm. mirror is huge. So if you were not able yeah. to bring your own mirror, the palette has a mirror already. Actually, all Jeffree Star's palettes has a mirror. Oh, well, that's so nice. Like the big ones. I don't. I can't remember if the other ones, like Thirsty and... Oh yeah, Androgyny oh has a mirror. So Thirsty has a mirror. He always has a, has mirror. a mirror. I mean, that's nice. Yeah, because if, you know, sometimes you forget to bring like a oh separate mirror. Oh my gosh, this is so what? Now, what I did with this one is, uh, I did put the licorice, I, like, white as base licorice, and then the sock, and I put outer for so what, and now I'm putting the highlighter on top of them. So, it's not really white, it became golden. It became gold? Mm -hmm. I mean, because I topped them with the red ones, but, yeah. Wow! It's good for a highlighter. <laughs> I told you so. <laughs> it's good for a highlighter, I'm telling you, because it's so glittery. But you can still use it, like, and ha have a very lid on this part. Yeah, in, in as corner, metallic. Is inner corner. Uh, yeah, this one. And some, like, to brighten up the eye. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you've been seeing that and some of the cosplayers were in, they put white here, you can definitely use this. You can definitely use this. It's gonna create that effect. And you can just use a little bit of it because a warning like okay we have a little goes a long way yeah bite me which is metallic orange juice which is metallic and what cotton candy joe breakers knock you do not need to swatch a lot of it because i'm telling you it's gonna be too pigmented it's gonna be too eye-catching if it's in cosplay if you're not doing glam if you're not doing drag also. If it's too it's pigmented be too and much. your blending skill, the eyeshadow blending uh -huh. skill is not yet as good, good. don't. It's, okay, look what happened to gonna, my eyes. It's gonna be... It's gonna be disaster yeah, if you're not good disaster. at blending. Because if you're going to put a lot and you're gonna blend, I'm telling you, it's gonna be a disaster because it's too pigmented. So, actually, it's gonna go on a long way if you're a female character. it You can use this for a long time. I don't think it will hit pan. I don't want to hit pan. Oh yeah, you're not gonna hit the pad. I mean, you know I don't want to hit pad because I want to display like, it forever. Like if uh, you cannot, because if the right, the, we only like touch few of it on the corner and look what happened. How much more if I'm really gonna dub it? I mean, like what I use like a soft dub, like softer even with how I put my beauty blender on my face, softer than that. That's how I really had it, and it's so. I'm telling you, it's There's amazing. There's not a lot of fallout. Oh, yeah. As, yeah, actually, yeah. There's not much of a fallout. If you if you would notice, if you put on with other makeup, if you do that, it's there are like other powders. That's what we call fallout. Yeah. But there it's okay if there are fallout. If, if it's fallout, it means it's pressed pigment. And pressed pigments you should it's, have do fallout. It's yes. not, it's not, for me, it's not a big issue. I mean, it's so nice. Just I mean, it's not of, much yeah. of a powdery y or yes. something they're small particles but that's very but it's not much you cannot even say that those are like a fallout so if you would like put it there i mean for other makeups if you're gonna dub there are like small things that you need to brush it off but here it sticks it really sticks i did not put any foundation or anything it's i was just really Focusing this one. That is how I am so excited with the Joe Breaker. Okay, there. So. Don't worry, I was also excited with that game. <laughs> I was like the so... one of the happiest people on earth. Yeah, so please, please, please. Jeffree Star, a lot of people need it here in the Philippines. So. I mean, he has his products here already, yeah, but that palette has yeah, not the, the, Only, the, I think, Androgyny is here. There is. I mean, for Jeffree Star, palette. 
I'm sorry, not I'm sorry. Sorry, I mistake. Uh, beauty killer. Beauty the, killer. Their first palette is beauty killer. He has killer. it here. So androgyn is the name of a lipstick. I'm sorry. Uh, like, it's, how do we say this one? I forgot how. Which you number. have to like invest, invest. Really, you really have to invest. For cosplayers, do not like oh now. Well, if you're a student, that's advisable. That's like, and you really need it in a con. Okay. But, uh, you know, like, a few part of your allowance, put it in, like, a piggy bank, and then if it's a lot, you can buy a makeup. Because, like, foundations, you need to invest on in that. Because it's gonna last for a long time. Okay? It's gonna last for a long time. You wouldn't even feel it. Rather than... And it's it's for your skin. It's for your skin. It's your, for your skin. If you're going to buy an imitation or something... It, it's bad for your skin if it's you're poisonous. yeah it's poisonous it's toxic toxic if you are on a budget we have budget friendly i guess you can just go with like everbelen is ever everbelen ever yeah or caroline caroline everbelen nichido. Uh, nichido like do not be scared when you walk into sm department store or watson they are not that expensive your Starbucks is way more expensive than that. Your milk tea is more expensive than that. <laughs> like, student, milk tea, yeah. other expense. You're a cosplayer, okay? If you're a cosplay, if you're a normie, this, like, for parties, for costume parties. But if you're a makeup lover, it's a must. Yeah, it's a must. If you're a makeup like lover, <laughs> you, you want to play around. Like this is me. good. This is good. I mean, there are like extreme characters, like villain characters. You know how their makeup is? You can definitely play oh, around with this. Oh, Joker is happy with that. Yeah, Joker. I mean, like, we have the green one there. So, there. So, this is like my... But like my take on Joe Breaker, Jeffree Star's Joe Breaker, as a cosplayer, a cross dresser. So at the end of it, female characters. I mean, those who cosplay female characters, you can play around with this one. For male, not much, not much. A nude palette. Yeah, though. nude palette. Um, is good i have i have where are you i okay this one this is very affordable not that expensive a smack or something it's this are the co main colors that you need to play around with if you have chinese characters with the red autumn and you want yeah you know those kind of effect on the outer part you have a very subtle detail autumn though this if you're a male character, if you're a female, I'm gonna illiter I'm gonna literate that. You can play around with this one, but not too much. Anyways, that's my that's my take on Joe Breaker. Thank you for my friend Cese. <laughs> yes, this is Cese Osteras. Uh, Joe Baker. Pa oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> okay, this is okay. I think and uh, stop. <sighs> My goodness, this cost one like, one costume. Well, yeah, one costume. One, Actually, costume. one costume. Okay. If you're already a cosplayer, the, the money that you spend, you would say, ah, this would cost a week. This would cost a costume. <laughs> you equate that to those things. It's $52. Yeah. Oh, $52. So times something here. I don't yeah, know. whatever the rate. Just, yeah, times whatever the rate right rate, now. Yes. So, yeah, Joe Breaker, Joe Breaker, boo. It's so nice. So anyways, have a good day. Thank you for watching and being patient with me. <laughs> this is Ron LS. Please subscribe, like, comment. Let's have a friendly conversation. Let me know your thoughts and have a good day ahead.